WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here for the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network Market Update. Dow's up 50, uh, 86 points at 34,875. Trying to have a bit of a balance here. The general market is trying to have a bit of a relief balance. I would not like to see this market turn around and at the end of the day see the Dow down 20 or 30 points, S&P down about 10 or 15 points. That would be very poor action. In fact, that would set up a Monday that could be quite ugly. But in the meantime, holding quite nicely, the S&P uh, did have a rally, it pulled back, went negative, went up to the uh, 44.73 level. Now it's 20 points lower. Uh, is that 10? Uh, yeah, 44.62, 10 points lower. Um, underneath the 14-period uh, moving average, uh, we're going to be seeing next week whether or not that 9-period moving average turns pink in the daily chart because that's going to start to affect other things as well. Looking at the QQQ NDX 100 trading vehicle, had a very nice rally. It was leading, in fact, in the rally. Now it's down, uh, it's down from that high, up 53 cents at 372.63. IWM, the Russell 2000, was weak all the time, still very weak, down uh, 8 cents at 184.26. Now there's going to be interesting. What happens with gold? <clears throat> Does gold give it back like it's done so often lately? Well, it has given back the high of the day, which was at 1954. It's now at 1947. Not a big deal, but that nine period moving average has turned pink, and that just says gold is now going to have a, a little bit more of a tough time. I didn't look at silver before in my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour. Uh, silver is very weak. It is up 0.04 at 23.28. But it plunged under the 200-period moving average. Crude oil, ha! Huh? Crude oil is trading up now 74 cents at 87.60. This is still hanging in there, and the TLT bonds um, had a nice move earlier on. It's up 63 cents at 94.64. But wow, those yields, they up at the uh, upper range. Got to watch that very closely. What did I want to do? One other thing was I wanted to look at, oh, yeah, NVIDIA. Uh, the leader of the leaders is now down eight at 4.53, and that's just telling us that those semiconductors, um, the oil of the 21st century chips. Uh, this is a, a little timeout. Maybe we start to see a bit of a glut there. I'll talk about that when I come back for the next hour. I'm going to be doing um, Steve's hour. Steve Rose is away. I'll be doing that hour. And uh, requests, any requests, please just send them over my way, Basil Chapman at tfnn.com. Love to get them. I'm checking out my emails right now. We'll do whatever we can with the requests. I'll be right back.